Hello. Welcome to my architectural YouTube video tutorial series. At the end of this video, you should know how to create, how to create a project and to set levels. So this can be done by one of two ways. This can be done by clicking on the application toolbar, then click new, then go down to project, click project. Or this could also be done by clicking here. So that's one way of doing it. That's one way of doing it. A second way of doing it is to click on the project navigator. The project navigator is located across from the application toolbar. So as you click here, project, the project will, will pop up, new project. And uh, from that, we click one square here, we click here. It is recommended that we create a folder to save this drawing in. So we we'll click here to create a folder and we would label this one. C set billion one enter. And uh, once you have created a folder, the next step is to create a new project. So to create a new project, you click here. Well, before that, before that, we need to decide where we want the project to be saved. So before doing that, I go here and click where you want the project to be saved. If you want a project to be saved on your desktop, we'll click here on this PC or on a thumb drive or in your C drive. In this case, I want to save mine on my thumb drive, so I click that. The next step is to click on the new project icon, and this will bring up the new project. So it requires that you fill out this, this dialog box with a project number. Let's leave this called this project number 101. Project name, CC building drawing, C set building drawing. And you could add a description by CSEC SBA 2022. Uh, once you have done that, you click OK. And your project would pop up here. This would be your project. All right. If you notice across here, you will see it here as well. So this is or project navigator. And um, our project navigator is basically where we go. It, it, it organizes the project, all right? So if we click here, you will realize that the project navigator has four, four sections. It has a project, it has a construct, it has a view and sheet. The project is where we go to set up the levels, the different levels for the house divisions and um, basic information. The construct, the construct is where we go to set up the different parts for your project. So for example, your floor plan, here is where you're going to set up a sheet for your floor plan or create a drawing template or a page for your, for your um, foundation, for your floor plan, for your section, for your roof, for your details, etc. Views, views is where we go to set up our, our views, like our orthographic views and our sectional view, et cetera. Down at a sheet, we, here is where we go to select the type of sheet that we want, all right? So we go back to from, from the next step. Once you, have, once you have set up your project, you start your project is to create your levels. And um, it's important to explain level in a little bit more details. So for that, I'm going to show you a different, a different sample of levels. Um, we normally have, a, well, we will be creating a sheet for the, a drawing for the foundation. So the foundation would be a level basically by itself. We have the slab details with the hardcore, the 
slab, the spread, etc., on the tile, that would be on a level pretty much by itself. And here we have the elevation. Uh, this would be the finished floor to ring beam or ceiling dimension. So here would be that. From here to here, we have the, 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 the roof to floor level. From, from the top of the wall plate or the top of the, the wall to the ridge cap, we have a next level. And uh, this level is the roof level. So here for this project, we have four different levels. Uh, if you want to do any work, we work on the foundation. You would need to activate the foundation level in like manner with the slab or flooring details. You need to activate that level. But the elevation is in like same same principle applies. If you wish to insert your windows or doors, etc., you would choose level three. And uh, for the roof, same manner. So that's basically the principle under which levels work. Um, the drawing is basically divided into different sections. All right. So our next step is to set up our level. So the first step is to create a project. And then once you have created a project, is to set up your level. So let us change back to our AutoCAD screen. So now that we have created a project, our next step is to select our paper size or choose a paper. So we do that by clicking on this icon here. So we left click there. And uh, if we wish to add some additional description here, we could go ahead and do that. So we click yes for this. Um, sheet template size, we'll click here. Currently, uh, the sheet that is selected by default is 841 by 1189 millimeters. Uh, for CSEC or in the school system, we don't really, you know, we typically don't use the size. We normally use A3, which is 420 by 297. So we we'll then click here to change that. And as you can see, we have a number of choices. We have A1, we have A2, we have A3, and we have A4. A4 is typically the regular, regular size paper that we normally use in our domestic or office printer. A3, is the one that we normally use for a CSEC. A3 is 297 by 420 millimeters. And A2 in like manner stated there. So I'll click on A3, then select OK. And I want to apply this to all sheets, so I click that. And that's pretty much that for that part. Then we'll click OK to accept that. Our next step is to add is to add our level, because the good thing about AutoCAD architecture is that um, whatever you do you do in one sheet is reflected or is generated in um, all the other sheets or all the, the other levels or section. Say, for example, you make some adjustment on um, the floor plan; it is reflected or it's all it reflected in the um, sectional elevation and also in the orthographic views. So to create our elevation, we click this button here, edit elevation, and it will bring us up to this level, all right? It is important to keep this tick. This is auto tick. What this does, this, allows for the different levels to be adjusted automatically as you as you add. So to add a level, you notice we have floor elevation. So this is typically the ground floor. The ground floor is normally zero comma zero. All right. 
if we want to add a level above this, we would right click here, right click. So we go over this, right click, then we add a level above. And um, this level above, we could let, let this be um, 2,700 millimeters, which would be consistent with um, uh, from finished floor to ceiling or to ring beam, that would be nine feet. So that would be 2,700. And to would label this ground floor, G-R-O-U-N-D, ground floor. And add a level above this, we put here to add a level above this. And this level would be our roof, our roof. And uh, currently I'm gonna estimate the value, the, the level for the roof. Uh, let this be about uh, five feet, which would be somewhere in the region of 1500 millimeters. One, five, zero, zero. And now, we want to add a level below this, for a level below this, for our basement or for our foundation. So remember, do not left click, left click, it will be highlighted on, and uh, it will not allow you to add the level. So I place my, my um, mouse over it, do not click, left click now, and click on, at a level below and our basement. This will determine the, the, the value for our foundation or the dimension for our foundation. In this case, I want my foundation to be uh, four feet or between well, probably a thousand or 1200. So let, let, let it be minus 1000, you know. Then, okay. One, two, zero, zero. Okay. And once you have done that, it will give you this prompt. You have made changes to the project that may affect existing views. Do you wish to, to, to regenerate all views in this project? And of course, you click yes to accept that. And those levels are now created, okay. created over here. So that's basically how we create level. Uh, let us extend this a little bit. So as you can see, oh, we probably need to, let's go back in this and edit these levels. Uh, we need to name this one. This is our ground, or, 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 or um, foundation. Foundation. This is our ground level. Ground. Ground. Yeah. Okay. It is important to note as well that we could add level from here. We could click this to add a level. Or if we wish to delete a level, we could pretty much click on the level that we want, then click this button and it will remove that level. Yeah, so to add a new level. So say for example, if I wish to add a new level above this, above this level, I would need to click on this level. So yeah, this insert a level above the highlighted level, all right? If I wish to insert the level here above this, I would need to click on the level that I wish to insert the level above or on top, then click that. Okay. And please ensure that this is ticked. What this does, this does this, this, uh, automatically adjust the levels. Okay, so 